apparently we have to do it manually. Seven days! We have, Fancy we have, new microphones. We do have new microphones. I hope I didn't blow your ears off if you happen to be listening to Travel with Josh and Jess on YouTube. I hope you have subscribed and crushed the like button. We have seven days to go. We do have seven days to go. Are you go. excited? Very. Some of you may be wondering why Jess is wearing a robe. Can, yeah. you, can you tell us why you're wearing a robe? Because somebody's trying to freeze me out of the freaking house. That's why. Hmm. We, uh, we cleaned some carpets today, uh, well, a rug, and the couch, and he's got all the windows open, and the fans blowing, and it's freaking cold here in Idaho. Um, I am starting to acclimate to Ecuadorian weather, <laughs> and um, so it it's really It hasn't cold. been 85 degrees here in Idaho for five <laughs> months, <laughs> and you're already acclimating well, to I was trying Ecuador to adjust weather. the heater a little higher and higher, and somebody complained. So. Yeah, I had it down to 52, I think, yeah, last night. And it was freezing me out. Yeah, I slept like a baby. But that's not yeah, why I'm but... wearing a beanie cap. I'm wearing a beanie cap because of the glare off of the... The he light. doesn't want you to see it. Yeah, see that glare? glare? Mm. So I've got to like go all beanie cap-ish. So go ahead, honey. He doesn't what look else? very ready for Ecuador, does he? I will be. Surf's up, dude. Cowabunga. And what am I? Uh, bra. Bra. Like yeah. <laughs> I forget all your uh, lingo. So, so, so dad, do dad, do dad. It's a do dad. Do dad. Yeah. And I don't remember sure. what it means. But today, <laughs> guess what? This is pretty much going to be a video all about Jess because all about me. we are going to be talking about <laughs> the headache, the headache <laughs> that it has been for uh, the transition for us to be moving to Ecuador. And obviously it has been a challenge. Well, it's, it's, and, it's, it's had its moments. Yeah. Um, won't lie. So if you guys remember, uh, course we went and visited spent a month in ecuador what august september. Through august september yeah and we decided there in country that we were going to go ahead and move and then we announced to our family like a week or so after we got back home and though and then so basically since mid to late september we've been like starting through or going through all the steps to uh <laughs> Get ready. That was one of our dogs. Yeah, you can hear. <laughs> <laughs> Sasha's got something in her nose, apparently. Um, so. Anyways, we've been going through the steps to uh, relocate. And so, um, number one has been um, getting the house ready, um, finding renters, which we have. We have renters. We have the house almost done. We have one bedroom left to paint, and otherwise, yeah, the just rest a has bunch to wait till of, spring, basically. Yeah, we have a lot of stuff that needs to be done outside that spring repair type yeah. maintenance, and then but as, as far you can as the see, heck, like <laughs> we're empty, em pretty empty. So those are actually yep. staying. The renters want to keep the yep. bookshelves, <laughs> but um, otherwise, this would be pretty much an empty room right now. <laughs> Yeah, we got some stuff that we're taking Idaho Youth Ranch, which uh, that's kind of like, kind of like Goodwill. Goodwill, okay, yeah. So we've got got a couple loads going to Idaho Youth Ranch, and it's been a lot of physical work, but the administrative stuff has. <laughs> that's true. That that was the deal. She does all the. He does the physical. I do it. Yeah, the and anybody that knows Jess knows that she is the ultimate administrative type person. So. I get nothing but frustrated and have no clue. So, um, yeah, fair. it's totally been her her deal. Yeah, so we got the house ready. Um, so we ended up hiring uh, an immigration attorney down in Ecuador. Um, shout out to uh, Sebastian. I don't think he follows our channels, but hopefully someday. Um, if anybody wants a recommendation, highly recommend him. I can give you his contact. Um, but he's been helping us through the visa registration process. Um, we are applying for what's called a professional visa. Um, so it has to do with um, having a, a degree from an accredited university. You have to go through all the, um, you have to go through a registration process of registering your degree with um, the Ecuadorian government. And then once it's recognized, you can apply for it professional visa. So we're still actually in the midst of that process. Um, so we're actually moving without our 
official visas. So we will be returning to country um, on our remaining tourist visa. So we still have 60 days left um, on our tourist visa, which you automatically get 90 days when you go into country. And that's it on a rolling, uh, rolling year. Um, and then if needed, we will file for a true extension on our tourist visa, which would give us another 90 days. So the hope is we won't have to do an extension. We'll be able to just um, get finish getting through the professional visa process and be able to transition from our tourist visa to our professional visas. Yep. And uh, the one thing about <clears throat> when Jess is talking about an accredited institution or college, that one of the things that they're... Um, that they had questioned us about is that was it an online school or was it a legit sit down in a classroom school? So if you're like a University of Phoenix, I think that's yeah. There's you're a couple, not gonna a couple get a colleges they don't really yeah. they don't really like right. they they you have to uh, give them like a modality letter. Yeah, and if it's like 100 percent online. Oh, yeah but it's not, and it's not a university that has a brick and mortar location, they kind of frown on that. So yeah, so it's- They it's like to know that like some of it was in in class. Um, I went to school before like online was really a thing. There <laughs> was. the internet was even around. <laughs> <laughs> well, the internet was around, yeah. but, um, but there wasn't a lot of online classes, only a few, so. Um, so that wasn't a big problem for, for us, for, for me, but um, that is something they, they look at so yeah. so yeah so we have for the visa process we have had to get an fbi background check um we have had to get an idaho state patrol um or idaho state police background check which we have to go back and get a second oh, one girl. we actually have to go back tomorrow our dogs are very needy they Sorry. know they know Kick, something's going on kicking so. the table and everything else <laughs> Yeah, their their anxiety has been going through the roof the last couple of weeks. They so when back when Jess and I used to travel for work on a consistent basis, the minute we would pull a suitcase out and start packing it, the dogs would just go through anxiety. Yeah. Well, we've, we've got suitcases suit out and we've been yeah, so anyway, sorry yeah. to interrupt. But That's yeah, all right. The, we'll the be talking are, about dogs in a different video. Yeah. Because that's been, been uh, another headache in it. in and of itself. I'm not going to yeah. put it in this video because it's uh, another whole topic. But um, Anyways, we uh, have to go get another fingerprint background check. So we actually have to go do that tomorrow. And then um other documents we've had to get are things like our marriage certificate um and gosh what else do we have to and get? so a lot of these documents also they have to go through a thing called the apostille mm -hmm. process and you did a good job explaining it today of literally it's it's you, like a notary's notary yeah so you get a document notarized by somebody around here and then you have to go to the secretary of state mm -hmm. in boise and have them notarize stating that, yep, that was a legit notary. Yeah. <laughs> and you have to do that with a lot of stuff. And so that, pretty much all of our documentation yeah, we've had to do that for. So all of my like uh, my degree, all my information from college, all of our, like I said, our marriage certificate, our FBI background check. And that one was kind of a pain because that has to be apostilled in Washington, D.C. Um, we found a workaround, <laughs> yeah. had somebody yeah. else go to Washington, D.C. because the mail system would take so long. Um, so yeah, there's just a, there's a lot of stuff that you have to do. Um, it's just a lot of paperwork, like bureaucracy. So to be honest, I mean, we one of the reasons we chose Ecuador was because of the easier visas and even having an easier visa process, it's, it's still, it's a, still a challenge. Yeah. It's a challenge. Um, totally doable. It's just, Give you, yourself time. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the thing is that you can't just wake up one day and say, hey, in two weeks, we're going to move out of the country. It's not going to happen. You know, um, you, you definitely have to do your research. And it's also one of those situations where things are constantly changing. Um, you know, one of the situations that we had, matter of fact, it dealt with Jess's, um, deg um, her degree the lawyer gets a hold of her and says, never seen this before, but you need to do this. And mm. remember what that, I, yeah. it was the online thing. 
Yeah, it was it the was online the, thing. So usually he would submit them um, electronically and uh, through a specific type of system. And for some reason, they were now required. They made a change to their system and they now required... Um, what was it? They basically, I had I to resend a bunch of documents. Yeah, we had to get a hold of the school um, again, and ha and the lady uh, who huge shout out to her. She was yeah awesome. Um, at but, an office at, at the University of at Oregon. the University of Oregon. <laughs> Go dogs! So, um, but, but you yeah, definitely, there's always something changing. There's always like. something. Yeah, so it is one of those situations where. Thank God Jessica has a lot of patience because I don't. I'm the guy that said, hey, we're going to move to Ecuador. Let's get out of here next month. I, and my patience hasn't been thin with Jess. It's just been thin with I'm, I'm just an impatient he's, he's person. He's ready to go. And I, yeah, I've wanted out of here for so bad <laughs> since for Since we so decided to <laughs> yeah. move, let's be honest. <clears throat> so and the winter hasn't helped either. Yeah, we've, the winter we've time actually sucked. had a winter this year. And and being homebound, um, you know, being getting cabin uh, fever a little bit. And he doesn't have um, a shop to go escape to Yeah, anymore. that's, that's a huge <laughs> so. thing, you know, not having projects to work on, you know, in the shop every single day, you know, a reason to, to get up and get out of the house. So it, it's been frustrating. And, yeah. uh, and speaking of that, we'll also discuss in another video some of the things that we want to do to keep us busy down there. But that's something I don't want to. Yeah, there's a lot of, <laughs> lot of things a person can do down there to, to stay busy. But. Um, anyway, yeah. as far as the, as far as the administrative stuff, it, so we're sitting in a pretty good position right now. So we're almost done with all of our documentation. So that we'll have it all ready to go by the time we're ready. We try by the time we leave, um, that'll go to our attorney, uh, for when we file the final visa application. And then otherwise, like I said, the dogs I guess have been a nightmare. It's we'll do a, a video. <laughs> yeah. and, uh, I'd recommend that uh, if you don't have an animal and you want to move out of the country, don't, don't get, get an animal yet. <laughs> get one when you get to your new country. There's plenty of, I mean, of dogs and cats to adopt in yes. another country. But. And don't get me wrong. I mean, we love our fur babies and there's no way that we would leave them here as much as I give Jess crap about it. Yeah. Um, you I know, do I, see why some people suggest maybe rehoming if you don't yeah. have patience to get through the process. And quite frankly, um, I'm not going to throw numbers out there, but financially, the cost of sending your your pets, it's, I don't want to call it an investment. It's an investment on love. Oh, there you go. Yeah, uh, honestly, it's, it's, it's more expensive than getting us there. Yeah. So. It's getting the, and, and we also... We're gonna we're getting off topic, I guess, but we're we also went a little more of an expensive route by hiring a legit company that does door to door pet delivery because of the amount of stress. But we'll we'll talk, we'll talk about, about that later. Yeah, but we'll about that um, but yeah, so because of that, we had, because of the dogs, I will say our our travel gets a little little wonky yeah, <laughs> we, uh, when we say we're leaving in a week we are leave we are driving away in a week yeah in seven so days. this is february 1st 2024 mm -hmm. and we leave here jerome idaho and head to las vegas on the 8th and we fly out on the 9th yep we fly from las vegas to miami on the 9th and then we stay in Miami for a couple weekend or a couple days through the weekend, and then we actually arrive in Ecuador on the twelfth. Yeah. So, uh, um, one and little then, thing I missed when uh, I was doing my planning was uh, Super Bowl oh, is uh, yeah. on the eleventh, <clears throat> and uh, it's in, in Las Vegas. In Las Vegas. <laughs> so, so where, guess where, where we're flying. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> So we're flying out of Las Vegas Super Bowl weekend, and guess where we're sleeping that night? In the rental car. In the car. Because yeah, there's no way in heck we're going to pay 400 and some dollars a month, or 400 and some dollars. For, for about one, five hours. Yeah, in the five hotel hours. Room, so. Yeah, so. Yeah, so a little, little, little miscalculation <laughs> there. I don't really follow football, so didn't realize it was Super Bowl weekend. It is what it is. <laughs> well, it's just one, one last. Uh, hiccup hopefully so but yeah. and then other than that um let's go ahead and throw out a quick 
three second safety and security thing that's going on down there. A lot of people have heard about it. Are we worried about it? No. No, we actually feel pretty I mean, good. Um, there's been a lot of positives that have come out of what's happening. Yes. Um, if you guys aren't aware, if you're curious what's going on, uh, we do highly recommend checking out some YouTube videos um, put together by our friend Mike. And he's down there in Ecuador and he does a really, really good job. Um, Legit. Wrapping up, yeah, going Research. kind of digging through like accurate news, what's really happening on the ground down there. Their so. their YouTube channel is Chris and Mike. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll K put a we'll put a link. Yeah, K R I S and Mike. So mm -hmm. we'll do the link. And one of the great things that that Mike does is he he actually does research and doesn't he doesn't do um, the shock value like you see so much whether. It's mainstream media in the U.S. or the U.K. or whatever. He, or there's even a little bit of shock value, of course, down in Ecuador on some of the stuff. But he uses legit numbers and stats, and we can't say enough about, you know, how appreciative we are on on uh, what he's yeah, been providing. Yeah, the work he does. Yeah. Yeah. So check out uh, check out Chris and Mike on their YouTube channel, and I'm sure you'll be seeing them on some of our videos. Okay, uh, one <laughs> eventually. I hope Chris and Mike uh, we befriended them. Great, 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 great people, people out of Canada. So. Yeah. So uh, so basically, I mean, it's it's the same amount of worry we'd have traveling there. Yeah. You know, something yeah. can happen no matter where you go. Well, hell, we're going um, to Las Vegas. So. Las Vegas <laughs> is one of the the top five murder. <laughs> Uh, cities in, cities the US. in the United States and millions and millions of people visit there every year. So it it's no different than going to Ecuador. Stay out of the crappy places. Keep your head on a swivel, just like Pretty anywhere smart. else. And you'll be fine. So anyway, yeah, I don't want to get into that crap, but I just wanted to <laughs> to let everybody know that yes, of course we're aware of it because we're constantly being asked, are we worried about it? No, we're not worried about it at all. So um, so other than that. We will be doing a, a video next week on our way to Vegas where we want to do some topics. Oh, um, I think our very next video will be on the whole dog the dogs. situation. Yeah, so we can show you requirements of the crates and that kind of thing. And then after that, we'll, we'll do a, a video on the way down to Vegas explaining some things and then obviously you'll see a video of us jumping on planes and <laughs> arriving in Ecuador. Yay! Boom! So, <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, make sure you like and subscribe, would you? Get on YouTube. You know, all 63 of you followers. <laughs> we, so, <laughs> we appreciate you. We, we need so more. appreciate you. You know, um, make, you know, write comments, do what you got to do. Um, you know, honestly, we don't care if we get followers or not. This is for our no, friends he, and family. He's lying. He does care if he gets followers. I, I like the attention. <laughs> <Yeah>. So <laughs> anyway. Does. Okay, guys. Do you have anything else you'd like no. to say? That's it. Seven days. Seven, Seven days. days to go. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.